Welcome back. We're talking about microclimates today. We created a small microclimate inside our greenhouse, basically building a small greenhouse inside our greenhouse. In the last video, one of our valued commenters said that they were having great success creating little microclimates inside their greenhouse in order to protect plants and germinate plants and continue the growth faster of the plants that are already established. So what I wanted to do is makeshift build some type of small greenhouse here inside our greenhouse, creating a a nice microclimate on this entire 12 foot bed. Now we survived 70 plus mile an hour winds last night. Thankfully this greenhouse is still standing. We went from 65 degrees yesterday, almost 70 at certain points, down to 30 degrees overnight and a 30 degree high for today and it is just ripping wind it's still 35 40 mile an hour gusts out there and it's just blowing everything all over the place so if this greenhouse is not sealed properly we are going to have air blowing through this all over the place and seeping our heat out and seeping cold air in now we've done a pretty good job at sealing this up pretty tight. We had grabbed our extra bubble wrap so we can finish insulating this whole greenhouse to hold all of that compost heat that we're storing inside here. Aside from insulating the outside of our greenhouse and our walls, we insulated this whole 12 foot bed in order to provide better soil temperatures and hold better moisture in there, giving all these plants ideal conditions to get established and get some good growth before those negative temperatures of winter start to set in. Now this method would work for an unheated greenhouse also because you're doubling your insulation factor by insulating this little bed and creating another greenhouse inside the greenhouse. Now you don't always have to build a whole enclosure for all of your plants but these are going to last the whole winter so I wanted all of them covered up the best I could. It can be as simple as taking a milk jug, cutting the top half and sticking it on and creating that little microclimate for the plant to survive or to sprout seedlings when it's very cold. With every layer of poly or with every layer of cover you have on your plant, you're gaining one to one and a half grow zones. So by providing extra insulation, you can get yourself two and a half to three more grow zones just by covering without heating anything. We paired that with compost heating the floor and compost heating the airspace in this little greenhouse in order to achieve some good temperatures. So let's take a look. This isn't the prettiest contraption I've ever built, but it is absolutely working. We've already got condensation up top. All of these plants are looking wonderfully in here. This isn't absolutely necessary because we are heating with compost. This is just one extra layer for experimenting. I wanna see how much growth. I'm thinking we can double our growth on all of these plants in here as opposed to all of the rest of the plants and all of our sprouts coming up in the greenhouse here. We have an absolute ton of sprouts coming up. You can see all of these coming up. I just picked these up off the floor. They were sitting down there getting heated by the floor allowing all those sprouts to come up much faster than if we didn't heat this greenhouse at all. So we just use like a TP design. It's basically a giant triangle of poly on top here. I wanted to use some type of PVC or something, but I didn't have a whole lot of materials to use. So I just kind of strung up a string and got all of this covered up nice and tight. There is no air coming in or out of there. So I'm gonna have to come out here and check on really warm days. We've got a ton of sun today, but we're only sitting about 30 degrees and it feels even colder with all that wind outside today. So we had six mil poly that we had from our greenhouse just because that's what we used and it is nice and thick and it is rigid. It kind of holds its shape. So I can just kind of flip this up and let the bed breathe if it gets to be too warm. Really interested to see what kind of growth we are going to get out of this bed and how much faster it's going to grow now that we have have it a little bit more insulated from the outside temps here. I get some soil temps. We're sitting 67, 68 degrees inside there, 69. 70 degrees soil temperatures inside this greenhouse due to our compost heat and the passive heating and our insulation factors. Let's jump over to this bed here. I just wanna check it out. 58, 59, yeah. That is absolutely determinate that our compost is heating the floor. 
but this bed is much warmer. We're sitting at least 10 degrees warmer almost in this bed from our extra layer of poly and holding all that heat as opposed to just letting it rise out of the floor into the airspace of the greenhouse. So this was just a 10 minute quick build I had thrown together with all recycled material and parts we already had. So the poly is getting a second life and allowing us to create much more life underneath it. I just noticed all of our Swiss shard was coming up here. Those have been sitting for a little while. I think the cold temps were negating their actual sprouting process or just really, really slowing it down. These had all came up pretty well today and yesterday by being covered up and having a little bit of extra heat held on it. I believe this is going to benefit our plants pretty greatly in this greenhouse here to have an extra layer of cover to protect them and I don't know what I'm gonna do over here I may just leave this whole bed open as an experiment so this is just a super simple little project and I wanted to share it with everybody because anybody can do this it took me a few minutes to throw this together so we're finding great results after just two days so I want to see what a couple weeks does for this because our temperatures are not coming back up here we'll be dealing with some frozen ground outside the greenhouse so we'll be losing heat to the ground so we're trying to insulate everything so we don't lose any more heat than we have to.